Hello everyone, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions uh, remaining bullish in a bull market, this overall uptrend, and uh, seeing some nice uh, stocks today that we'll take a look at. We're also seeing some a couple of Brett things that are a little light, uh, we'll talk about that. Short-term overall signal, so remember we're looking at this overall long-term uptrend and that we know isn't an uptrend but but uh, retracing and we're seeing that weakness here in this overall strength of the momentum line we know that once we get extended uh, uh you know deeper than one of these levels around here currently it's been in the last couple of years it's been up around this 13 14 to the upside same to the downside and um, traditionally it, it stops around five and so the indicator line up here traditionally is around five but it's been a lot more volatile than that in the last few years so that's one of the reasons why it's stuck right here and we're because we're up here at nine currently still and retracing back this direction when we get a crossover at this point that is when this line is actually crossing over here as well so early in a bull market trend we're seeing this move this direction and then later in that trend uh, we're seeing it top out and pop and uh, and potentially start to create some divergence here when we get a new uptrend and this may be turning lower we're not there yet uh, but we could see some uh, continuation towards the overall upside just based on our current short-term signals here we've got sentiment which is improving significantly here and momentum which is shot right off the bottom breadth has been lagging right here that's not uncommon but it needs to it needs to get rolling here so that we can get some additional confirmation in the overall uptrend uh, if that doesn't happen then we could see some continued weakness here uh, going forward buy sell ratio is also just kind of hovering right here it actually is hovering right around one it's at 0.85 slightly bearish it's uh, you can see 1696 on the sell side 1446 on the buy side so just kind of stuck right here as we had that massive move off the bottom sentiment here you can see the bounce and now we're you know potentially reaching towards that upper end on this next move higher if we um, if we get that without I think we may get some kind of a little retracement here and a little bit of a pullback let's look at some of the indices here let's look at uh, oops meant to go to S&P 500 SPY on this one year time frame let's actually go out to this two year time frame and then I'm going to just drag and highlight this area right here so what we're looking at is we're looking at this overall swing high and swing low point the october low of last year and the july uh, august high of this year retraced back down into a you know in, in an overall uptrend we can still consider it an uptrend as it's retracing back this direction even if it pulls all the way back into this 50 percent 618 retracement buy zone and uh, each of these each of these areas these boxes represent a zone and what we want to look for is you know I, ideally when we're in an overall uptrend we're in this upper momentum zone and that's where we're at right now based on the current trend profile this list low point this high point we retraced all the way back into that 382 level it wasn't a real deep retracement we could have easily gone into this 50618 box but we did get into this 50 percent box that's a real common retracement area and it also lined up nicely with a lot of support in this range as well we bounced aggressively off of that straight through this next corrective zone and then back up into the momentum zone so uh, spy is back up above that four what not, what's that number there 433 range and there's significant support there as well so we could retrace all the way back to that 433 range and still hold this overall up momentum uh, pattern uh, but it had it's had such a really sharp move from this low here all the way to this high that it could use you know a day or two or three of uh, of retracement it's right in that healthy bullish trend zone currently which is what we want to see if we take a look at some of the other things that are driving the market TLT we know that bond prices this is that you know real long-term perspective of TLT as bonds have been rising or as interest rates have been rising bonds have been dropping this chart pattern obviously in a, in a nasty downtrend on that time frame on any time frame and but that overall six month time frame you can see a little hiccup of green right here and we're going to still have this long-term downtrend obviously that's this move here but now we're seeing a bounce off the bottom and we're starting to 
uh, to starting to climb the ladder here. We've got this 236 zone, which is the momentum zone to the downside as well, just like it is to the upside when we're in a downtrend and we're, we're, we've, we've moved back up above that. So uh, this next rung in the ladder could be that next magnet for bonds. If we get a bounce, you, now you can see we've got four, five, six days, one, two, three, four days of, of support right in this area if we get another day or two. Uh, if not, we could just hold this line and be heading for that 90 range, which could pull interest rates down, which which would pull interest rates down. And uh, markets are continuing to look for that. And uh, one of the issues, though, could be that, you know, and the Fed always does this, they always go too far too fast. So we could actually see going into 24, kind of a massive rate hikes. We could see it because they've gone too far one direction. We could see economic slowing and even recession. And the Fed may be like, oh, damn, we did too much. Let's reverse and go the other way. They're, they're, they're notorious for that. So uh, this price pattern setting up for bonds to go this way, interest rates to go this way. We'll see if we get any continuation on that going in here over the next few days. Uh, let's look at leading sectors. We've got uh, construction, aerospace, aerospace utilities, which have been working very well this during this rally. If we look at the sector ETF profile, we can see uh, really a, it, it kind of confirms that overall buy-sell ratio where we're just kind of stuck between uh, trends. We've got a few that are in uptrends. We've got a few that are in 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 no trends, or they've moved off of a real deep oversold condition, and now they're now they're stuck here in the middle, waiting to move a direction. And um, but still, nonetheless, we're moving in the right direction for more upside commodities here if we look at gold we know that gold has been moving it's it's retracing and bouncing off of this 382 level currently on this most recent trend and could find some support inside of that area uh, after a pretty sharp run higher from this point to this point pulling back in just a little bit and then also gold is one to consider uh, at, uh or, or excuse me oil and as it's been uh, retracing, it's now bouncing off a 50% zone. So obviously in a downtrend here, but in an overall longer term uptrend. So we need to consider this low, this high, large ABC counter trend with support at a 50% retracement zone, and then getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of bounce, a little bit of confirmation there. It so certainly has some work to do, but it's in the area where it could be a corrective retracement and starting to move higher. That's on oil. That's kind of a quick look at current market conditions. Uh, going back to the indices, we looked at the index scan, and we're seeing you know the Dow Jones Industrials buy sell ratio of three. 18 to the upside, only six in the sell side, and uh, five in the hold range. And we're seeing buy sell ratios here NASDAQ 100 at two to one. And the, the, you know, really almost all markets minus transportation. Transportation led the way out. Now it's kind of retracing back down a little bit. If we look at a group uh, of the muscle stocks currently, some good looking stocks in here. In fact, this top stock right here, a AOI really was a high flyer for us last year, had a big run up, big retracement, but look where the retracement pulled back to that 618 zone. Now we're climbing that ladder again, back up again, and big move yesterday, 17%. Uh, this, is a, this is a very um, volatile stock that can move aggressively, and a big move like that, you, we more than likely will see some follow through on that, some confirmation to that upside. Keep an eye on that one. Uh, for sure, at least for something shorter term to be trading around and uh, could present some opportunity there in this current market environment as things are starting to tick back to the upside. Uh, some of these leading stocks that had led the way back up, retraced. Uh, we'll see if they lead the way back up again. That's a semiconductor stock. I think we're going to continue to see semiconductors do really well over the next, probably over the next couple of years as AI is being built out. It's going to take a massive amount of hardware, a massive amount of servers, massive amount of uh, chips, and uh, those companies are going to benefit. LFMD, nice looking stock in this upper momentum range now, confirmation bar. They're bouncing off of that 236 pretty consistently now for uh, an entire month. That was one of the other stocks in the list there. AUGX, another medical stock, pretty volatile, sloppy patterns, uh, but it's in that upper range now currently. 
Sky West, this has been an interesting stock that's been maintained its momentum to that upside and is holding the range. Still has a high back here, but this uptrend and then this retracement holding this overall upper momentum zone as you're scanning through some of these different ideas. Remember that you can also scan through and look through some of these other tabs. We always look at the new buy list, but there's some others here called Mus Muscle Minis and some of these others. These are just looking for a little bit different stocks. So you may have, you know, these notice the price on these. These are $2, $3, $4 stocks. Some of them are not quite as as in that momentum range, but it's a different it's a different stock pattern, it's a different stock price to be looking at as you're going through and just some quick scans. Not all of them are going to be ideal, uh, but let's go through and scan through and see if we can find. Here's an interesting one. IBRX, these, some of these really volatile uh, biotech stocks will show up in this scan. Here you've got the uptrend, the retracement back to 50%, and then another move back up. Here could be a confirmation move to the upside. Be careful on these as they, you know, they can swing 10, 15, 20, 30% a day sometimes uh, in this overall group. There's a little gapper. DNN, a uh, nice looking pattern here on Denison Mines. This is actually is one you'll see, you know, if you see anything here where you've got some green in this earnings range, it's in the upper momentum zone, base materials, uh, you know, if we continue to see inflation, uh, commodities and mining should continue to do well, maybe one to consider for your watch list and uh, potentially for your portfolio. That'll do it for today's update. If you don't have full access to the site and software, you can sign up with the link below and we look forward to having you have a fantastic day today.